Hello and welcome to Devlog 4. I'm Ian Lindsay from Game Digits, and I'm going to be taking you through the character modeling, animation, and shaders this week. So who's this guy? This is the manager of the hotel, and I wanted all of the characters in the game to look like puppets. As you can see, the character is controlled like a puppet, and everything is hanging off the neck. Also, he's covered in a fuzzy felt effect. So let me take you through how this works. First of all, I modelled a test character. I added bones and skin to the character. For the bouncy hair, I added bones on the top of his head too. I then brought this into Unity and used the dynamic bone asset. As the body and the hair act differently, I used two different dynamic bone components with different parameters. For the fuzzy felt shader, I first added a soft light parameter. I then added a detailed normal map to give some surface detail. This gives a rough texture, which is correctly responding to the light. I then added an albedo texture, just to give some surface variation. Now this looks okay so far, but there isn't any height on the surface. Usually you can see height variation on a fuzzy material, especially at the edges. So for this test I added two more spheres, one slightly bigger than the other, and these have an alpha cutout texture on them. This is called the shell technique, and it simulates the height on a surface. I then added a rim lighting effect, which adds the back lighting. There's a little too much of it here, but we'll be adding ambient occlusion later. Now the tests have been done and the process has been finalised, I then modelled an in-game character. I will be using the salsa asset to do the lip sync and also the eye movement. Therefore, there needs to be bones for the eyes and also blend shapes for the mouth. I then wrote a tool in Unity, which will add the extra shell geometry on the character and also calculate the ambient occlusion into the vertex data. With everything added together, the puppet looks like this. The surface detail from the normal map and the albedo texture, there's height variation from the shell geometry, there's ambient occlusion from the vertex data, it's also backlit from the rim lighting. This is all great, but what does the puppet have to say about all this? Hey! I'm a puppet, and I was created for the VR Hotel project. I have a special fuzz shader, and I have dynamic floppy bones too. See? Check out my nose and flappy ears and wriggly body. Hey, will you stop doing that? I'm feeling sick already. If you keep moving my transform like that, I'm going to throw up. Well, that was Devlog 4 for the Hotel Project. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in Devlog 5.